What's going on guys and welcome back to the Fit Men Cook Kitchen. Well, with May being upon us and it being Blood Pressure Awareness Month here in the US, I really felt compelled to talk about one of the biggest contributors to high blood pressure and hypertension, and that is fried foods. In fact, here in Texas, we take fried foods very seriously. Every year we have the state fair and there is a huge fried food contest. I've had fried bubble gum, chicken fried bacon, fried arroz con pollo, fried Fruit Loops, those were actually pretty good by the way, fried peanut butter and jelly, um, basically anything that you can think of, we have fried it here in Texas successfully. Now here's the bad news that we all know, fried foods are full of saturated fats and simple carbs and they will not push you further to your health and wellness goals. But today, we are going to be firing up the air fryer. With an air fryer, you can actually cut down the calories by more than 60% and even more saturated fats. Today, I'm going to show you all four must-try air fried recipes that I know you are going to love. And if you're in the market for an air fryer, check out the one that I did almost two years ago on the Philips air fryer. I love it. It's one of the best investments that I've ever made here in my own kitchen. All right, guys, if you are ready for some faux fried goodness, then let's get started. First, we are making a German style pancake. If you never had one, they're very delicious, very easy to make. What I love about this recipe is that it is a quick blender batter recipe that you can whip up and you can have fresh, ready to go every morning. All you'll need for this recipe is a miniature cast iron skillet like this one or a ramekin. Check it out. To a blender, add some eggs. While it blends, add wheat flour, coconut or almond milk, a pinch of salt, and a serving of applesauce instead of butter. Spray your cast iron tray or your ramekin, then pour in the batter. Add the basket to the air fryer, then cook for six to eight minutes at 390. The edges should begin to fold in and the pancake should flatten. Add fresh berries, swirl confectioner sugar, and raw cacao for added crunch and an antioxidant boost. Store the remaining batter in a container to make it fresh every morning. Easy. Next, we're making air fried popcorn. Instead of shoveling out money to buy those big bags of air pop popcorn, you can make your own. Your only challenges for this recipe are keeping the kernels contained inside the air fryer and not loading up their air fried popcorn with a whole bunch of highly caloric condiments like butter and cheese. Check it out. Add raw kernels to the air fryer basket and lightly spray with a little coconut or avocado oil. Add the basket to the tray, then line the edges with foil to prevent the popcorn from getting trapped underneath and burning. Add to the air fryer and fry for 12 to 15 minutes at 390. Still popping. See, it worked. Lightly spray the popcorn with coconut oil and season to taste with sea salt and pepper and nutritional yeast for a cheesy flavor. Next, we got a taste of Spain with some delicious patatas bravas. This is the best way to make potatoes inside of an air fryer. You want the potatoes nice and creamy on the inside, but crispy and flaky on the outside. Check it out. Slice the red potato into one inch pieces, then add them to boiling water. Boil for no more than five minutes. Allow the potatoes to cool, then pat them dry using a towel. Add them to a bowl, add avocado oil, sea salt and pepper, and some garlic. Toss the potatoes, then add them individually to the air fryer basket. And be careful not to overcrowd that basket like the New York subway. Air fry for seven minutes at 390, then shake the basket and air fry them for an additional six to seven minutes. See, crispy on the outside and creamy on the inside. Season them up with some smoked paprika and a pinch of sea salt and pepper. Lastly, we've got some fried guacamole balls. Now this is a recipe that I dreamt up years and years ago but I just never had the kitchen courage to do it. But since I've been experimenting with different cooking techniques and expanding my knowledge of food, I knew exactly what I had to do to make this recipe work, and it did. I guarantee this will be a hit at your next gathering. Check it out. Mix ripe avocado, onion, 
fresh lime, cumin, and sea salt and pepper. Toss in some fresh cilantro and season to taste. Add fine almond flour to thicken it up, then freeze the entire batter for one hour. Scoop out a portion, then form a small ball about the size of a ping pong ball. Repeat to work quickly and cover with foil and place in the freezer for five hours or overnight. Once it's frozen solid, spray them with a little olive oil to make them sticky, then roll them in almond flour, the egg, and panko crumbs. Add the balls to the air fryer basket, lightly spray them one last time for browning, and air fry for six minutes at 390. Holy fried guacamole. That's it for today's video. I wanna thank y'all for watching. If you like and appreciate content like this, and I invite you to smash that like button below and remember to comment as well your favorite recipe from this series. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you're notified every time that I put out fresh content. Follow me guys at Fit Man Cook on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter for daily inspirational content. Until next time, I want y'all to keep it healthy, but what? That's right, never ever boring. Ooh! <laughs> Bye guys.